Good morning, friends. So today is Thursday. If you watched morning meeting video, you know that it's Thursday, which on our special schedule, it is PE, physical education. So today I wanted to read a story that will teach us some healthy habits since we're going to be spending a lot of time at home and with our families and eating with our each other I wanted to read a book that would teach us some ways that we can make sure that we're staying healthy while we're spending all this time at home with our families so the story today is called good for me and you and this story is by uh, a famous children's author named Mercer Mayer Mercer Mayer writes the story and draws all the pictures too. So this story today, we're going to learn some healthy habits. And as we're reading, I want you to think about what kind of physical activity you can do. Since today is Thursday and we have gym, what kind of physical activity can you do at home to make sure that you stay healthy? And I have some resources that we can use, um, but think about in our book, as we read with our main characters, what kind of things can we do to stay healthy, okay? And because it's Thursday, last Thursday, I posted a workout challenge video um, of squats. Remember, I did 10 squats with my baby, and then I challenged you guys to do it too. So today, I'm going to post a new challenge, a push-up challenge. And I want you to listen to our book and think about, do we have any push-ups? Do we see anybody doing push-ups in this book? So let's listen to our story. Think about what kind of healthy habits can you do at home while you're at home with your families. And I want you to commit to one new healthy habit you're going to start from our book, okay? And then we're going to write about it at the end. Good for me and you. What do you notice in the front cover that is healthy habits? What do you see that's healthy on our front cover? I see a friend eating an apple, and I see a friend jump roping, and jump roping is very good. It's very healthy because it gets your blood pumping and gets your heart moving. Nice. All right, friends, let's read. Today in school, we learned about what foods are good for us. I asked why carrots are better for me than cookies. Because carrots have vitamins that help you grow, Miss Kitty told me. Cookies just taste good. They're full of lots of sugar, which is yummy, and it's a good treat. But should you have cookies every single meal? No, you got to have healthy stuff that's full of vitamins, like carrots. In gym, we did lots of exercises. First, we jumped rope. I jumped the fastest. But the rope was a little bit too long for me. Then we had a push-up contest to see who could do the most sit-ups and push-ups. I won almost. There's our push-ups. Today we're going to challenge each other to do some push-ups. The next day, I made lunch for mom, dad, and little sister. Surprise, I said. Eat every bite because this food is good for you. What is he holding that's healthy food that's good for you? What do you see in his bowl? Looks like a nice big salad, huh? I see the carrots that were full of vitamins. Salad, leafy greens. Those are all things that are really good for you. Mm. After lunch... I told my family I had another surprise. I took them all on a bike ride. Come on, Dad, I said. You can do it. Riding bikes is a very healthy activity because it makes you do exercise. What kind of exercises can you do in your house? You can't ride bikes in the house, usually. But what other things do you think we could do in the house that would be good for exercise? Pause and tell your friend about it. The next day, when Tiger came over to play, play video games, I had a great idea. I called all of my friends to tell them about my idea. Is playing video games exercise? No, not really, because you're just sitting there. Exercise means you got to get up and move, and you got to have your heart pumping. You might sweat a little bit. 
because you're working hard. Video games doesn't make you work hard. <clears throat> he has an idea. He called up all of his friends. Me and my friends played football all afternoon. That was his idea. I scored a touchdown that won the whole game. Now, is playing football or playing ball, is that exercise? Oh, yeah. Because that gets you moving, running, jumping, scoring. The next morning, I walked to school instead of taking the bus. I had to hurry because walking sure does take longer. At lunch, I almost had a brownie for dessert. But instead, I chose to have an apple instead. Making good choices. So he made good exercise choices. Instead of taking the bus, he walked for some extra exercise. And instead of eating that brownie, he had an apple instead. Because brownies are full of sugar. They're a treat. It's okay to have treats every once in a while, but you shouldn't have treats for every meal. So instead, he decided to have an apple. Last night, I made a similar decision. It was Mr. Ryan's birthday, if you remember from our calendar, on the 30th, on Monday. And I made a big pan of brownies. Really good brownies. And last night, I was trying to be healthy, so I decided not to eat the brownies for like the third night in a row. And instead, I had something healthy. I had a salad. I'm trying to be healthy, guys. It's hard. It's quarantine. Woo. On the way home, we saw a big sign. Look, said Gabby. There's going to be a race in Critterville. Let's run in the race, I said. Everybody cheered. Gabby said we should do exercises to get ready for the race. But then I got hungry, so I stopped to have a snack. Tiger and Malcolm were hungry too, so I gave each of them a snack. Exercise sure gives you an appetite. And that's true. If you're exercising a lot, it makes you hungry. So you got to make sure that you fuel your body with healthy things to make your body go, right? Pretend like you're like a car. A car needs gas so that they can drive and go. Your body needs healthy food to give you fuel to make you go. The next day, we went swimming. I wore my snorkel and my flippers because they make me go faster. Look at all these illustrations. They're all swimming in the pool. Swimming is good exercise. I used to swim like three times a week before my gym closed temporarily. Swimming is really good exercise. Do you guys like to swim in the summer? It's warm out. It's a little too cold to swim now. After that, we practiced running as fast as we could. I beat Tiger. But Tiger, oh, excuse me, but Gator beat me. Look at Gator. He said, bye-bye. And Malcolm beat all three of us. Look how fast Malcolm is. But Gabby beat Malcolm. Gabby is really fast. Go, Gabby. Woo. The day of the race, we all took our places at the starting line. On your mark, get set, go, called the announcer. And he blew the whistle. I got off to a really fast start. Look at him running. Uh-oh, wait a minute. What's happening? What's about to happen with his shoes? His laces were untied. What do you think's going to happen? I didn't win. But I ran the whole way without stopping. Doing stuff that's good for you isn't just healthy, it's a lot of fun, too. Oh, the end. That was a good book, friends. So our characters learned different healthy habits, and they made good choices, good healthy choices. So my challenge for you today is to pick one item from our book for inspiration and choose one thing you can do today, one choice you can do today that is extra healthy. So what's one healthy habit you can do today? It can be eating healthy food or it can be doing an exercise. So choose something that you would like to do to make your day a little bit healthier. And then you're going to write about it using our writing sheet. Um, I'll post a picture of the writing sheet that you can print out or make yourself. 
What is one healthy habit that you would like to do today? So choose one healthy habit. Remember in our book, we had lots of healthy habits. We changed our healthy diet and chose healthy food instead of treats and sugar. There was jump roping. There was push-ups. There was eating a salad, bike riding, choosing to do activity over video games, football. There was a race, running, all kinds of things you can do. So choose one thing, and then I want you to write about it. What was the healthy activity that you chose to do? Write about it and then upload the writing to me on Teams, email, or text so that I can see what you wrote about. And I am committing today to doing push-ups. So I'm going to do push-ups. <coughs> oh, excuse me, bless me. Oh, I cover my sneeze. That's a way to be healthy. I commit to do push-ups today. And I'm going to challenge you guys to do push-ups too. So I'm going to post a video later on of doing a push-up challenge. And I want you guys to play along and do push-ups too, okay? So commit to one healthy habit and write about it and then upload it to me. Okay? Have a wonderful day, friends. Bye-bye.